Now, the details about a murder for hire plot that was uncovered in Philadelphia. Investigators say the suspect offered to pay a hitman $5,000 to kill his target just last week, and more lives could have been at risk. Action News reporter Maggie Kent is live in Center City with the latest. Hey, Maggie. Uh, Christy, I can tell you that the motive behind this murder for hire plot, the FBI says that 47 year old Darnell Jackson was willing to pay that $5,000 in order to eliminate someone that they call, quote, a rival gang and drug dealer. It turns out the person investigators say Darnell Jackson was promising to pay for a murder to take place on July 21st was actually an FBI informant recording their conversations. He was willing to pay $5,000 to have someone murdered and he allegedly sent a photograph of his intended victim to this other individual. In ongoing conversations, Jackson is alleged to have mentioned that he also wanted someone to locate close friends of his intended victim so that they could be harmed as well. Police pulled Jackson over in Southwest Philadelphia after he got a call from the informant that the deed was done with the instructions to meet up and exchange money instead of money in Jackson's vehicle. But when law enforcement officers pulled him over minutes later, they allegedly found him with nowhere near $5,000 but he did have a loaded Glock style, personally manufactured firearm, also known as a ghost gun. Because Jackson is a felon, he'll be charged with the ammunition found with that gun. Philadelphia Police Chief Inspector of Detectives Frank Venor says 3,400 crime guns have been confiscated this year so far in Philadelphia. Ghost guns, though, can be hard to prosecute. The problem is when they're apart, the legality of, of the pieces is not something we could always take action with. So uh, it's very difficult to get them when they're together and they're a firearm. Now, this is all part of the uh, federal collaboration with the Philadelphia Police Department, known as the All Hands on Deck Initiative. That includes the police department, as I mentioned, the ATF, the FBI, and the U.S. Attorney's Office here in the Eastern District of Pennsylvania. If convicted, uh, Jackson faces up to 20 years in prison. Live at the federal courthouse, Maggie Kent, Channel 6, Action News. Shari. Yeah, the different law enforcement agencies trying to partner here together. Maggie, thank you. Mm -hmm.